connect in the spirit right now. So yeah, of open doors. Pray and say, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe your word. Lord, I believe. I believe your word. Someone is praying. Declare that I believe. I believe your word. It shall be unto me according to your speakings. In the name of Jesus, it shall be unto me according to your word. In the name of Jesus, hear me. Now, I want you to begin to call every month by name and declare it open. Every month, a father. May be open. June be open. July be open. August be open. September be open. October be open. November be open. December be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. I decree and declare every month. Be open. Deliver that which is locked up within you. Hallelujah. Please help those under the anointing. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that in this year of open doors, I prophesy over my life and destiny all doors open open your mouth and begin to pray decree and declare mention every door you know command it to open all doors all doors marital doors financial doors ministerial doors business doors health doors the door of your mind the doors to your influence the doors of kingdom service the doors to greater anointing the doors to revelation someone is praying all doors open all doors open Open. All doors open. Someone is praying. All doors open. Shapra katekotas kata prendega parutas. All doors open. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Shapra kata pakatos koto prende ke pareko tos katia krafa kata parakatos all doors all doors all doors I insist all doors someone insists in the place of prayer all doors outside all the overflows make sure you are praying Zaria make sure you are praying our global family all who are connected pray all doors open. Open. All doors open. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Now hear me please. Hear me. I'm going to lead you to make a declaration. The moment you make that declaration, you are at liberty if you want to turn to the east, the south, the west, because we are going to speak to all the the prophetic regions, the four corner regions. He said, son of man, prophesy to the four winds. Not one wind, not one direction. Four is the number of balance and stability. You are going to declare whether it's the north, south, east and west. In the name of Jesus, everywhere this door is, I prophesy to those directions, you must open. Say in Jesus' name. I decree and declare northern doors southern doors eastern doors western doors hear ye the word of the lord be open now open your mouth and begin to speak declare over every region spiritually and geographically someone is stretching your hands to the north you are declaring by the spirit Northern doors, hear the word of the Lord. Southern doors, hear the word of the Lord. Eastern doors, hear the word of the Lord. Western doors, even in the spirit. Ephata, be open. Ephata, be open. Ephata, be open. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, let the winds be open, let the doors be open. In Jesus' name I pray. Shout this. Say every spirit stand in my way as a closed door. I decree and declare. The Lord rebuke you. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit, every hindrance stands as a spirit the Lord rebuke you the Lord rebuke you for a great door and an effectual is open up to me but many are the adversaries the Lord rebuke you the Lord rebuke you the Lord rebuke you the Lord rebuke you, Lord rebuke you. spirits of delay Backwardness, retrogression, failure at the edge of breakthrough. The Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. 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 You are going to prophesy over your hands and your feet. Listen. You see, the hands and the feet are two mysteries in the Bible. When they caught Peter, they did not tie his eyes. They tied his hands and his feet. Because these are your instruments for movement and motion. When you tie a man's hand and you tie a man's feet, you have tied his ability to be strong and demonstrate strength and also his ability to make progress. 
you are going to pray over the works of your hands and pray over your feet listen the bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord that you are not going to do one leg forward and 10 steps backward and you are going to pray whatever has made the works of your hands to keep recycling shame and pain you are going to cause it right now is someone ready to pray say in the name of jesus my hands you carry the blessing upon you my feet you carry the blessing upon you therefore i release you for my progress open your mouth and begin to pray your hands as a preacher as a businessman as a politician as a career person i prophesy my hands my feet will lead me to progress by the spirit of the living god i go forward not around i go forward I go forward every step being a greater one someone declare 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 Shapre keta tos kata beleka tos kam prete ke pakato kata pakato skata e prakato shakete prende kete pros kete beta forward forward Hallelujah 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 Don't be tired of praying. We are activating this grace. In Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray do you believe in prosperity because we are going to pray now and ask that the door that is restricting you from entering the place God has earmarked for your blessing believe me when I tell you until it says thou has caused men to ride upon our heads we we went through fire and through water but thou causes us to come into a wealthy place i can tell you when the blessing is not manifested in your life as prosperity it will interrupt many useful things in your life poverty can be a door that stops you from going forward many great things you want to build you want to make progress some of you want to partner with the house of god like never before but this demon spirit of poverty there are many conferences many outreaches many things to do for the kingdom there are many pastors in ministry they are limited they are owing they are in debt there are many business people some of you what you used to do before in terms of blessing others you no longer can do it that door must be cleared out of the way it takes more than a good heart to be a blessing remember your commitment number four that you will be a blessing this year believe me it takes resources you've heard me say the name of jesus is heavy it takes resources to lift it up for the nations to see if you are going to live a life of integrity and dignity and decorum especially as a minister of the gospel that you are not playing pranks and manipulating people you will need to access the supplies of heaven someone say in the name of jesus yes. financial doors financial door. open o open up your mouth and pray financial doors open ideas insights access to light doors of value open doors of strategic relationships open strategic relationships open strategic relationships open strategic relationships open, strategic relationships, open. someone is praying strategic relationships open 
financial doors open financial doors open hallelujah listen hear me believers let me tell you the truth right from the one in this ministry I'm not ashamed I'm not one of those preachers that play games over I hate poverty it is clear I will never like it I will never teach it I will never endorse it I know the destructive effect of not having economic power to a people to a territory to a nation you you embrace a life of poverty and mediocrity no matter the spiritual explanation you're on your way to not doing much for the kingdom what we manage is lost and exiting Christ out of your pursuit for wealth when your pursuit for wealth becomes a, an appetite for the gratification of the flesh it compromises on your spiritual life your passion for God and it is not used as a tool to reveal him now we will frown at that but not that resources please don't there are many of you your children need to get out of some schools into other schools if you mean well for their future are we together you send your child to a school he returns back as if he's a demon asking you questions that even as an adult you cannot sleep but it takes resources there are many people today who cannot lead many to Jesus because the resources are not there I vowed a vow that I will never lead the people who are only spiritual I believe in the power of influence and you cannot be around the corridors of influence being poor settle it once and for all that poverty is of the devil if you love Jesus and you love his purposes you will embrace the blessings of the Lord we are very outspoken about Jesus being exalted above everything but please hear me Africa let's be delivered from this demon that has kept us and wrapped up through the guise of religion to keep people poor and then at the same time advocating prosperity from a a standpoint that does not glorify Jesus a standpoint that is a marketing of the flesh that leads people to stealing killing and destroying all to prove that their faith is working this is not what I'm saying that is absolute nonsense we are teaching wealth and increase with a heart that is stayed on God and prosperity in your hand that has a mission this is what we are advocating but as for poverty you will not find it here till Jesus comes in the name of Jesus Christ Two more prayer points are you tired please you are going to pray that the doors of strategic and prophetic relationships be opened listen 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 in Luke 11 when the man was in trouble he went to his friend's house you don't go to an enemy's house to ask for help that means you have to first have a friend before that friend can help you is that true there are many of us who are suffering alone as if you were exempted from any from the death you know the sacrifice of Jesus simply because you have not mastered the art of trusting great and valuable relationships this is the year where God has to connect you strategically to people all blessings come from God through men to men my friend i have had some visitors even though it's late please can you bend over backwards for my sake there is a friend that stick it closer than a brother let me tell you we live in days now where it is only god that can bring men to you by the time you use your eyes and your brain you are going to spend your life recycling pain you need to pray and say father i don't know what door is closing my strategic relationships that includes destiny helpers and i've taught you that there are four kinds of destiny helpers never forget number one divine connectors number two men and women of influence number three gifted men number four burden bearers you need these four people in your life say in the name of jesus shout it again say in the name of jesus father i decree 
I declare that the doors of strategic destiny relationships be open up to me open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray someone is praying strategic relationships strategic relationships business relationships ministry relationships marital relationships career relationships someone pray there are relationships that if and when introduced to your life can become the ladder that elevates you to heights unimagined when Jonah entered a boat, people lost their properties and almost lost their lives. When Jesus entered a boat, they were preserved. Pray! Doors of relationships be open. Doors of relationships be open. Strategic relationships. Hallelujah. Now the last prayer point, we are going to pray for Koinonia. This is a ministry that we are all part of. This is not one man's ministry and we are participating, no. Koinonia is everybody's business and everybody's concern. Hallelujah. I told you that in this ministry there are no fans. Uh -uh. Fans don't have an inheritance. It is people who connect we may be far and wide across the many nations and continents but love covenant and understanding has bound us together as a global family while it is true that we are sent to the body of christ but it is fair that we look inwards and pray for this our jerusalem you are going to pray for koinonia right now whether you are watching from europe you're watching from america from across africa this is a gift that God gave to the nations, even at such a time as this. We are going to pray and cry. Father, the, the fire of revival, salvation, transformation, miracles, signs and wonders, it will never go down in this ministry. Open your mouth and please pray. Pray like you are praying for yourself. Pray like you are praying for your children. Pray like you are praying for that which God committed to your hands you are part of this vision make sure you pray father high level spirituality this will be a place where spiritual men are made mentored taught doctrine guided by the spirit this is a ministry that will continue to function by the influence of the spirit this is Bethel, the place of bread, the place of the word. This remains a place of excellence, a place of character in the name of Jesus. A place of the manifestation of the power of God in unprecedented dimensions. To heal, to deliver, to set free in the name of Jesus. The fire of revival from this house will engulf the nations of the earth and we declare all the meetings this year, the Koinonia meetings, the apostolic and prophetic meetings across this nation, across the African nations and the continents of the earth. In the name of Jesus, there are moments of encounter, moments of salvation, moments of transformation. We will bring healing to governments, healing to nations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray over the teachings that in the name of Jesus, they are anointed afresh. The teachings will mentor kings. The teaching will mentor nations. The teachings will be tools for revival, tools for healing, transformation. Many will come to Jesus through these teachings. Pray for all the sons and daughters in ministry connected to this vision. In the name of Jesus, they are excelling. In the name of Jesus, they are excelling. Pray for all the fathers 
that bless and speak over this ministry in the name of Jesus the Lord will keep and preserve them for our sake to keep speaking over our lives as we rise in the name of Jesus Christ pray for all the businesses in this ministry they will not fail pray for all the organizations in this ministry in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus revealed Jesus glorified in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Jesus spoke to Peter and said thou art Peter and upon this rock I will build my church he says and the gate of hell shall not prevail we have prayed for koinonia the meaning of that is that everything in your life because you are part of this vision everything must answer to that prayer Amen. koinonia cannot go up and you go down koinonia cannot go forward and you go backward i decree and declare in the name of jesus we all rise together in the name of jesus we all shine together in the name of jesus we all reveal jesus together for in the mighty name of jesus we pray Amen. in the name that is above all names i decree and declare upon your life as i shout the prophetic words i want you to thunder a believing amen strange favor 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 in the name of jesus christ everyone here who is in any financial calamity in the name of jesus between now and the end of february you have the faith to believe this the helper that will arise for you may god provoke them to arise for you in the name of jesus any aspect of your life that has refused to move forward you have tried and tried and it has refused to move forward by prophecy i push you go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward, go forward. in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead or dying in your life could be your finances could be your spiritual life by the spirit that raised christ from the dead let that situation and that aspect of your life jack back to life now hear me if there is anyone here i'm hearing addictions suffering from any kind of addiction an addiction is anything that has control over you that you do not have control over it and leads you out of the ways of god out of the will of god i break every addiction now shout a loud amen i break every addiction now All those trusting God for jobs by February miracle service in a place you did not expect if you have the faith to receive I decree and declare may my God give you strange jobs I understand that many people especially around this city have had a lot of constraints especially in the area of their finances from rent to transportation to whatever i have a duty under god to help your spiritual life but not at the expense of other aspects of your life therefore i decree and declare may help and mercy some of you someone will give you a place to stay and you will not pay one naira for it in the name of jesus christ everyone in business here in the name of jesus provided is a legitimate business and glorifies God and adds value to people may my God support your growth may my God support your rising can I pray for your spiritual life it's too early to be struggling with your prayer life we are just in January it's too early to be struggling with fasting it's too early to be struggling with waking up in the night to pray 
it's too early to be struggling with your world life whatever wants to kill your spiritual life already i declared must give way now fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh fire for the word of god in the name of jesus christ every wrong association in your life that wants to deviate you from the ways of god i caught you from them permanently there is nobody who is destined to remain down please place your right hand on your head prophetically you're my glory the lifter up of my head you're my glory the lifter up of my head I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wait for the Lord sustains me. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we are still praying. Please don't be distracted. I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. Any system of authorization, whether as a result of personal sin, whether as a result of territorial sin, all foundations and bloodline by the mercy of god i decree and declare their legal hold over you is hereby broken hereby broken therefore every negative pattern every frequent occurrence that is inconsistent with that which the word of god says should be in the name that is above all names i bring to end those patterns now i bring to end those patterns now patterns of untimely death patterns of perversions patterns of delay patterns of limitation be broken now patterns of poverty and begging and hardship be broken now patterns of mediocrity and inferiority be broken in the name of jesus hear me where you have not risen to before by reason of these limitations i stand by the power of the holy ghost rise to that level rise to that level in career rise to that level hear me if there is anyone here whose destiny is not open and is not speaking you love god you are sincere but your life is grounded and that's what you have seen happen to other people in the name of jesus i decree and declare like a little flower opens up and begins to bud i command your destiny to open up open up financially open up hallelujah now in the name of jesus if there is any priesthood servicing any altar against you whether by reason of where you come from that means there are human beings alive who continue to swell those altars manikesh shabarata ebrekatoskadia makabraskada latoshenekete embrekete barata in the name of jesus i bring to an end the reign of such priesthood their enchantments will no longer work like the prophets of Baal they will not receive any answers again we shot the realm of the spirit against them we shot the power of the sun 
against them. We shut the power of the wind against them. We shut the power of the earth against them. In the name of Jesus, every medium of expression ceases to work for them. If there is anyone here having any infirmity in your body that has defied medical attention and you know that this is a direct result of witchcraft right now in the name of Jesus that sickness leaves your body now help them please that sickness leaves your body now high blood pressure diabetes hepatitis in a parish it leaves your body now lungs and growths in your body demonic things that have defied some of you have had surgeries again and again and it will not go i curse it now in the name of jesus hear me every experience of seeing dead people come to harass you my bible says that the living and the dead have nothing in common there are times you may have encounters with the spirits of just men made perfect but that does not bring oppression in the name of jesus the system that authorizes familiar spirits to use the faces of men and oppress you and plant all kinds of things in your body and your destiny it is broken now it is broken now that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing I, I, I pray for you now may death leave you alone we are wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of Jesus I pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns, the ones who open the womb, they are the ones who become the, the chief victims. I pray for you here, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward, I command it right now, at the count of three, may fire come upon that altar. One, two, three, take that fire now. Take that fire now. The cause of first bonds. I curse you right now. The cause of first bonds. I capatas kotebata. I curse you right now. Hear me. If you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family, you are the first to be lifted to that level. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were, in Jesus' name, may that altar be destroyed now. Help them, please. May that altar be destroyed now. Two more prayers and we're done. My goodness, fire is burning in this place.
everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit whether it's your favor your job your lifting your children your relationships in the name of jesus this moment by the power of the name the blood and the word i declare a release now i announce a prophetic jubilee now in the name of jesus christ final prayer please place your hand on your head prophetically your head is a sign of your glory you'll be surprised at what will happen to you now I want to pray for you father you instructed that we do this I stand by the priestly the apostolic and the prophetic mantle and I pray over your people the head of a man is a symbol of his glory I want to pray for you something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of Samson every spirit in the similitude of Delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial Delilah's ministerial Delilah's career Delilah's in the name of Jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of Samson grew back in the realm of the spirit I pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of God rest on it now rest on it now I make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of Jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of Jesus you will never go down again you will never go down again in the name of Jesus if overshot our time lift I want you to shout this loud and clear just have those under the anointing say father I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life over my destiny I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority redeemed by the blood you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny hallelujah Say in the name of Jesus, covenants of delay, covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We're still praying.
covenants of retrogression covenants of failure by the blood of Jesus help them I declare be broken now open your mouth and pray be broken ordinances of fathers tying down the destinies of God's people be broken be broken redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood the ransom has been paid a visa has been made the father is satisfied Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame. Reproach. Embarrassment. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Kalekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me. That should not have left. By the blood by the name by the word i call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the spirit of god relationships by the spirit of god resources by the spirit of god mantles by the spirit of god Restoration by the Spirit of God. 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 Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of the waster. Listen, listen, your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste lives, resources. Say again, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of a waster, the spirit of untimely death, the spirit of infirmity I challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the Lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. The baraka push koto brende ke para. Ekre katas katela katashubrehia. Makapanda katabarata. You are caused by the God of heaven. 
Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens. I decree and declare. Clear away for me. Lift your voice and pray. My place in life. My space in destiny. I take my place in life. I take my place in destiny.